Hey everyone, I'm Kalea Youngblood, your Chief Marketing Officer here at the Austin Board of Realtors. And today we are here with Austin Stowell. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for being here. We are doing our board candidate interviews today for our board of directors election that will be held um, in September. So today we're going to do just get to know Austin a little bit and um, we're going to jump right into it. Why don't you tell us what company you're with, how long you've been in the business, and a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I'm Austin Stowell. I'm a Broker associate with Compass Real Estate, uh, former board member. I believe my term was 2000 to 2022. So I have some experience on the board um, and uh, rolled off temporarily. But we, you know, we served during the height of COVID uh, and had, had a kind of a unique experience at, as a board member at that time. But really enjoyed my service on the board and. I've been a uh, licensed real estate agent in the state of Texas since 2002, so I've got kind of extensive experience. I grew up in property management uh, in kind of the apartment complex world, grew up in that, that property management uh, and landlord space. I'm currently a landlord. I own uh, several rental properties, uh, and then I work in kind of the investment and development space as well as uh, the uh, growing urban infill development world. And, uh, and that's a, certainly a passion spot of mine, and I think a, a spot that's really interesting um, as an advoc advocacy outlet uh, inside the uh, Austin Board of Realtors, as well as with uh, uh, local brokers in Austin, because I think that that has a direct impact on our business as realtors here in town. So with your ex extensive um, experience, tell us what you will do to reinforce the value of both the Actress MLS and um, um, Austin Board of Realtors as a board member. I think, you know, in terms of just kind of strategic goals, right, the, you know, one of the primary factors that, that we focus on is, is advocacy, right? So I think that uh, that's one of my strong points in terms of, of understanding the inner workings of how both the, the, specifically the City of Austin Land Development Code, but also the interactions with uh, the, the county and the state itself and how those interact. I think that those have a direct impact on our business. And I think that being an advocate is probably you know, my biggest strong point uh, in terms of, 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 of working with our membership and uh, advocating and responding on behalf of our membership in order to, to uh, help those that are members in, in, in developing and building their business, being aware of what is going on locally and inside local government and making sure that uh, not only are we advocating, advocating, but we're also educating our members so that they're aware of, of what these uh, advancements and in, in, in rules in both a lo local and state perspective and what impact that can have on their business, yeah. both positive and negative. So I have to already correct myself because I just said Actress MLS and just recently we rebranded re the Actress MLS to Unlock yeah. MLS yeah. and we launched a new app and that was actually all part of our last strategic plan which we completed or are completing this year is our fifth year of that last strategic plan. Right. So tell us what you will do or what you really enjoyed about that strategic plan and how um, or what you would like to take moving forward into our next five year strategic plan. Yeah, I think you know, listening to the membership, I think, is probably the thing I enjoyed the most in, in terms of the development of that plan. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, yeah, I, I'm, we obviously rely a lot on staff. We have we have a, a really amazing staff that 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 works with the board uh, that has helped to execute that strategic plan. I, th I think the you know the main goal, right, is 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 to uh, make our members' lives easier. Right, and I think that that you know, we can discuss about advocacy and education and all the strategic plans in the world. But the idea is like we exist specifically to try and make uh, everyone everyone's lives easier in terms of operating our business. And I think we've done that through you know, strate strategic acquisitions like, like our acquisition of Remind and, and kind of the integration and trying to find ways to to make the MLS easier to use mm -hmm. uh, and that data more reliable uh, as it interacts with more and more sites that, that tend to use that data feed. Uh, so I think that that's a, a, a critical uh, uh, importance and something that I want to lean on in the future as a board member. Yeah, you were um, part of that decision uh, right. in your tenure in the last, um, your last board of directors uh, time with us. So what do you feel that you specifically will bring to the table? You talked about your advocacy efforts and some of the things that you find um, that you'll bring to the table on the technical side. Is there anything else that you would like your audience to know about you that you will bring to the table in this next round 
of uh, your tenure on the board of directors? Yeah, obviously leaning leaning back towards uh, our acquisition of Remind and then this kind of uh, transcendence and focusing on uh, making sure we have the, the best and most reliable data set that we can all rely on in our business that helps make uh, our, our jobs uh, more effective when we go out and, and work with clients in the marketplace. Yeah, I think that as a, as a board member and as uh, the city of Austin is, is, is dealing with some of the largest growth that we've seen in generations, I think we have a unique set of challenges and, and the board of realtors and realtors in general are, are, are well respected uh, when it comes to understanding the challenges both uh, specifically with housing but I think that we as a as a board and as as with a, a community of realtors have a, a unique ability to kind of advocate broadly outside of our own um, individual uh, ecosystem inside we're, we're we're friends with clients from every every path of life yeah, we're and global I now. correct <laughs> and I think and I think by being educated about uh, what's going on locally you know we just were faced with a city council uh, meeting last week and I, I think it's items uh, items 126 and 154 on the agenda which would fundamentally change the land development code for the first time since the mid 80s mm -hmm. um, you know, we have built a land development code in the city of Austin that has specifically incentivized nothing but multi-million dollar giant mega McMansions despite passing the McMansion subchapter F that happened in the early 2000s. Really what it's happened is uh, it's uh, unintended consequences and, and what's happened is if you look at any of our lo local infill neighborhoods, you'll see in Zilker, it's not uncommon to see a $4 million house on a basic, a basic simple lot. And this, this change in the land development code would potentially allow for um, you know, three units per lot, lowering uh, lowering the total lot size. And at the end of the day, really what it is, it's going to make it easier to build a diversity of housing. Mm -hmm. And I think that us as advocates inside the uh, the ecosystem of just real estate and, and, and the connections that we have to the broader space of Austin, I think that that's something I'm really passionate about, about making sure that our, our members are aware of it, because it's going to have a direct impact on what, what people can do with their properties, the potential and what they can do. Uh, and and I think it's important that we reach out because currently it's really, really difficult and very, very expensive. And only uh, those with significant funds can really navigate the development process. And the, the, the hope is that this change in the LDC would be a uh, something that would make it easier for all of us. And I think would be a positive for anybody that owns real estate in the city of Austin because of that, anybody that sells real estate. Yeah. I mean, it's a true statement that we need housing for everyone, Correct. right? And so I, I appreciate those comments. So that's a good segue because we want to talk about like what keeps you up at night? You know, what is the, the industry changes, the global, what are the biggest challenges we have going on right now, both at the local level and the state level and the national level um, that kind of keep you up at night? And what do you think that we can do to help impact those changes for the better? Yeah, I think the enemy is at the gates right now. Uh, you know, we're at a, a transcendent time when it comes to technology and real estate. Uh, I think that uh, depending on which market you go to, if you look at all the different social media apps, but I wouldn't say that necessarily real estate agents tend to, to garner uh, on, on a national level when people are, are discussing you know, professions, doesn't automatically uh, uh, evoke like a sense of, of, of trust in people. And I think that that's something that we can uh, advocate from a board perspective uh, to make sure that uh, our client, our, our, our members are educated uh, and well-informed so that they can do an excellent job so that they can continue to, to uh, do an excellent job for clients and kind of change that narrative. Yeah, it's I, about education. Correct. Yeah. And I think it's, and you know, the, the more educated you are with, within the, your own individual environment, that goes back to the land development code issues I was talking about earlier, the better job you can do. Um, and I think that that can help uh, evoke trust when people, people think about real estate agents. I think we're also facing an ad advance of technology and oftentimes those technology companies are using the information that we're giving them for free to try and eliminate us uh, from the process. But I'm a strong believer that I think that, you know, uh, regardless of, of technology, I think there's always going to be a spot for real estate agents and yeah. for people to help in, those, in this transaction because, um, you know, it's, it's oftentimes people's largest assets. And I think that it, particularly when you think about a, a city like Austin that's incredibly complex in terms of how things are operated, mm -hmm. um, 
not anybody, can, an app can't figure that out for you. Yeah. And I, but I do think that we need to be cognizant of, of those te technological advances and be smart and make strategic acquisitions like what we did with Remind yeah. and be um, you know, cautionary with, with how we operate our data set to make sure that it's uh, incredibly efficient, but also that it doesn't get uh, into the wrong hands. Yeah, I think that there's, we have a tagline now, data driving dreams. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really data is power, but needs a human touch. Right. And that's what our profession is. So it's exactly what it is. I mean, yeah. it's it's you, you, you anybody can make a profit on a spreadsheet, right? Yeah. I think, but it, when you start talking about development, right? Like, there's so much nuance that goes into it, uh, and building the right team is part of that. Uh, and I think that that's similar across uh, you know any large organization. Yeah. And I think that it's going to be um, you know really critical in the future that we focus on that, making making sure that we have the right team, and making sure that we we are. Uh, adaptive and responsive to the changes that are coming to the industry. Great comments. So um, that's all we have for today, but I okay. do want you to tell the audience just a couple of last words of why they should vote for you. Um, Austin stole with Compass, and so take it away. Give us some last words. So I, like I said, I, yeah, I previously served on the board, so I've got some ex extensive experience in the boardroom uh, dealing with some really complicated acquisitions and, and challenges uh, during my tenure on that board. And uh, again, I. I think that you can ask plenty of my colleagues in terms of uh, knowledge of, of our local government infrastructure and, and, and the involvement of, of the, the Board of Realtors and how important that's going to be in, in evolving that to uh, the advantage of every citizen as well as you know, every real estate agent. And I think that I'm well positioned and well informed on a lot of those facts. So I think that that's uh, one of the main reasons. I, I think I'm qualified for the position. Austin from Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Yeah, appreciate it. Don't forget to vote. Uh, last day is September 20th, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.